Hey guys, welcome to Picture Point Drama, where it is everything in entertainment. I am your host, Sean, your video on Comic Guru, bringing you a quick, yes, quick video. I'm going to show you uh, what I picked up movie-wise, what I picked up comic-wise, and see what you guys think. And hopefully you guys leave me a comment down below. And if you guys like it, please hit the subscribe button. So close, I'm 139 subscribers away from 1,000. So close, please guys, help me hit that before we get to... Uh, Fan Expo, which I am a, an ambassador here in Chicago. One of four or five. I'm not, I can't remember. I always say the wrong thing. But I am not the only one. There are more than one. But I will be doing an event at the Logan Square Theater on July 18th. We will be giving away passes for Fan Expo to the winning team. We always say that. I always go through that. We're just going to quickly jump into our stuff. What I got movie-wise, I don't always... I haven't done this in a while. And this is everything in entertainment, and I've always talked about comics. And even before I show you this, have you guys seen Superman and Lois that seen the finale? First of all, we get Lex Luthor the episode before. Holy crap. Beautifully done. And then we get Doomsday. Spoiler if you guys haven't seen it. You should. Go and see it. The way they create Doomsday is beautiful. They make Lex Luthor so evil. Oh, it's beautiful. And they lead it, the way they end it leads it to the next season perfectly. It makes you want that next episode so bad. You want that. So let me know what you guys think. Just just amazing. But this right here is or I'm gonna turn this way, hopefully no one. Hey, if you find out where I live, guess what? You, you ain't gonna get shit. <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing here. Uh huh. <laughs> I think highly of myself. Um, but this I saw yesterday actually on Amazon, and damn it, didn't have it doesn't come with a slip cover. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I was able to get this. This normally would have been um, I think about fifty nine dollars and ninety four cents. Some weird. Sh I'm trying not to swear as much. Some weird thing they do where they can't say 95 or 99 but it was at over 50 percent off i was able to instead of getting it for about 60 dollars i was able to get it for like 20 bucks 19 dollars and some change so after tax it was like 22 dollars and four cents and from amazon i ended up getting with digital code the six movie collection of mission impossible i have been looking at so many different uh collections at my local uh, used stores like Reckless Records and other places, but I usually go to Reckless Records. They have the best deals. And I couldn't find it. Plus, I wanted digital codes. I like having the codes because if I travel, I can have these in you know my iPod and I can watch them or I can put it on my tablet. It's a great thing to have. If you have kids, awesome thing to have. But this is great. I mean, I haven't opened this up yet. We'll do that quickly right now. Quick little unboxing of the unboxing. <laughs> but it was supposed to come with a slip cover. I'm really, 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 really mad it doesn't have it. But it's probably going to be double disc. Let's see. I'm going to remove these. These have the digital codes for them. But you do have Mission Impossible 1. Holy crap, they're individual. Two and three. Four and five. And, whoop, moving in. We have number six. And we have the special edition for number six. So, I will do, go through it again because I don't know how it looked. Because I was looking at it before I even showed you guys. So, there's one. Mission Impossible. Yeah, Mission Impossible 2. Mission Impossible 3. Forgive me, I don't know the names, and the print is too small for me to be trying to read the back of this damn thing. I'm old! <laughs> Mission Impossible 4 and 5, and then you get Mission Impossible uh, Fallout with apparently a special edition disc that the other don't have. So, pretty cool for 20 bucks, brand new, with the digital copies, which I will be redeeming again. Uh, I used to never do that. I am kicking myself. I could have had probably hundreds of more movies in my collection, but I gave them away. I did, but I gave them away on my channel, so I can't get that mad. 
Other movies I picked up were Wakanda Forever. You gotta have this movie. This is an awesome movie. Super Mario Brothers. I did not get to see this in the theater. I it, I let it slip. I did. I wanted to. I'm a Mario Brothers fan. I played the games as a kid. The Mario Kart scene I heard was phenomenal. I will let you guys know what this is like. Because I have never seen it. Then you get John Wick 4. Love this movie. The movies just keep getting better. I mean, it, you're not looking at it for a deep story, but you are looking at it for a, a cohesive story. And that's what they do. Each movie progresses the story without making it too complicated so you can't pick it up. But if you only want to see a good action film, you can just watch this and be good. And then finally, I picked up Avatar Way of Water or Wave. It should have been Wave. It really should have been Wave of Water, but Way of Water. Um, again, I didn't see this in the theater either. I saw the first one in the theater. It was good. It was great. But I had so many damn problems with that movie. Hopefully, this will be better. So, I'll let you know. But those five movies are the ones I picked up recently. I have been picking up movies. I just don't show them on the channel that much. Because usually they're kind of like obscure things. But, uh, again, the comments I picked up, very small. Like I said, i got to end this super quick. Uh, first thing I ended up getting, I paid absolutely nothing for. And that is the DC Connect. This is the Wonder Woman cover, which will be for Wonder Woman number one. Now, here's something I didn't know. They do variant covers. And this one is for Batman, Catwoman, what's in, uh, the Gotham War. Yet another cash grab to get you to buy Batman and to get you to buy Catwoman. Batman will always sell. I'm looking in the wrong damn camera. It's over there. Leave me alone. Either way, I'm getting it. <laughs> But those were uh, free to DC Connects. Then I ended up getting this was for $3.99. This is from Marvel Comics. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 28. I only pick up, if I can afford it, the regular copies or the regular covers. The variant covers, it costs so much money to do that just for a cover. When I was reading comics back in the 70s, you know what they called them? A pinup. It was always in a book. It was in the middle of the damn book, right at the end. Now you gotta pay a separate um, price to get the same book, the same story, but a different cover. Is that right? But if you enjoy doing it, hey, I guess it is. I mean, it's a billion dollar industry, so who am I to say? Next up for three ninety nine, we do have Avengers number two. I decided last minute I'm gonna um, probably stick with this for probably at least twelve issues. Uh, and then that's at least one year to see how this goes. If it survives a year. They've been doing these... Uh, aren't you guys sick of, like, constantly having the books restart and then they do the whole legacy crap? So you're trying to piggyback off of it. So when they do finally hit a prominent number, like what Fantastic Four did, you could add at least another buck to the price and then still have it under like number five or six, seven or eight or whatever it was. I think it was number seven. That was like, ugh. either way, it's just, it's a cash grab and I hate it, but I'll see where this goes. They have a lot of characters I like. I like the fact that Captain Marvel is leading the team. We have Sam Wilson's Captain America, not Steve Rogers, because once he's in there, he's the leader. If, no, if there's a bus, I don't care if Iron Man, nobody. He is going to lead the team. So to have her there and everyone else delegating to her is good because she's military. She understands that. So we'll see. We'll see if that works. Uh, the next, the last three, I should say, are from DC Comics. <clears throat> and that Avengers was $3.99. Uh, for $4.99, we have Detective Comics 1073. See how cool that sounded? 1073. 73. I could say 1073. I want to be, you know, hip. But no, 1073. Now, granted, they did the same thing they did the New 52 and all that. But for the longest time, though, this book really did keep its numbering on course. It was very few issues outside of it that weren't a part of that actual original numbering system. And with that said, you can also say the same thing for this one, Action Comics. This is issue 1056. 
for four ninety nine. So I mean, yeah, they did, you know, do the new fifty two where you had about fifty two issues where it wasn't in the actual numbering, but out of all of them, it's one of the few books out there that has the least amount of number of issues that weren't of the original numbering set, if that makes sense. And then the last book I got for $3.99, I love that price, is Green Arrow number three, probably the book of the week for me, because I love Green Arrow. I do. You'll see video where I have a lot of Green Arrows. I love this stuff. I love it, love it, love it to death. I am pissed off that this is only a 12-issue series. But, with that said, this was supposed to originally be a 6-issue series. Then it went to 12. So maybe we could do to this what we did with Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy was supposed to only be a 12-issue series, but now it's continuing on. It's an ongoing series. $3.99 is not a lot of money for a legacy character. That's where the legacy should come in. He is a legacy character. I mean, this man's been around since the, what, 50s? Maybe 40s? You know, so I mean, this man was going neck and neck with Batman. So, let's, let's give him his due. Plus, he's a great character with a great history. You got Black Canary, Arsenal. You have his son, Connor Ken, in there. Come on. We need the series. Make it happen, DC. Put a petition in there, guys. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys feel the same? Do you guys love Green Arrow? Do you hate him? And if so, why? But <laughs> that's going to do it for me, guys, for a quick video. I still talked a lot, but it's under 40 minutes. Hey, that's a good thing. That's going to do it. So remember, I'm going to say this a little slower. We are on our way to the well, 1,000 subscriber mark. We are about 139 subscribers away from the filming of this video i would be so 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 happy and grateful if you guys could get me to that thousand before we get to the fan expo if not hey it is what it is but it would be a great little thing to have you know happen that would make that event even better but if not at least please give a like share the video if you can give me some comments on content you guys want to see i will do more um videos where it's involved with movies and other things talk about tv shows i just need to have the time but that's going to do it for me guys remember here at picture book drama it is everything in entertainment i am your host showing you a video on comic guru i'll see you guys next time peace